Susie popping in to say hello. Uh, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to Dragonfly Bee's resale journey. Just wanted to uh, let you know what this video is about. Um, it is part three of the shopgoodwill.com mixed jewelry grab bag, which was 16 pounds in total. So let's see what we have this time. Uh, just got to work, parked the car, heading in. So uh, enjoy the video. Okay, let's take a look at some rings. Uh, first one here is this very nice enamel butterfly. It has, it's on a brass tone setting. Um, I do see a couple scratches on, on the wing right there. And there's some, um, I don't know, I guess when it was painted. And some red marks over there. Oh, needs a good wipe down. Other than that, let's see uh, the back side. There's no marks. That's just a circle in the in the ring. So let's uh, let's take a measurement. I would say this is a seven and a quarter. So we have this very nice enamel butterfly. Next up. This is a large ring, uh, silver tone, raised bead design. This feels like stone, like a dyed red halite, perhaps. And the size on this one, oh, this is a smaller one, maybe four and three quarters. So we have this. The one, okay, next up is uh, this gold tone double band one, and it has this gold plate that I guess you can polish and have engraved. And this one is small too. I would say that's about a four and a half. Yeah. It needs to be polished. Maybe you can uh, put an initial or something on that. Okay. Next up, this is a fun one. This is a, a stretch ring. And the stretch is good. And it's made up of the... Uh, it's a cluster of black faceted um, beads along with some clear rhinestones. And looking through this, the rhinestones are all are all there. So we have this one. Next to that, we have this. Wow. This is a acrylic red cabochon. Very pretty, ornate, antique silver tone frame. I do see some copper peeking out on the edges. Ooh, and lots of copper on the back. Yeah, you could see it on the edges better uh, from this view. So this is adjustable, but as it sits now, it's about a, um, a five and a quarter. What a ring. Okay, going down the line. This is a gold tone ring. And this one measures, wow, almost a nine. I would say eight and three quarters. And it has these really pretty, like a blue opalescent stone. For that one. And then the next one, is silver tone has a wider band and there is some wear on the back right there and this one measures five and three quarters I would say and it has these 
stones. And uh, it's acrylic. That's a pretty one. Look at that shine. And then next up is this. This gives me a southwestern feel. It's a silver tone. Like a curved plate with this design on it. And then it has these blue rhinestones on top and bottom. Left. Is it missing the one on the right? I believe it is. I don't know if you can see. There's a blue rhinestone right there. And then looking over here, I don't see one. And then there's this uh, little Howlite cabochon center. This is the back side. It is adjustable. So as it sits, this one is at an eight. Uh, you know, it's, um, you could hardly see that stone on the right. Well, it's not there, <laughs> but, uh, it's still a pretty ring. So we have that. Okay, moving along. We have this gold tone butterfly. And the butterfly sits at a size seven and a half. And it has these very pretty tiny little rhinestones in like marquee shapes. Like a pink on top here pink on top and like a blue on the bottom half and there's a beaded raised bead design all along uh, the outline of the butterfly very um nice no marks this one here wow this one I'm looking at the rhinestones. Uh, it has rhinestones all around, and they are there. And then the uh, design has that raised design. And then you have the black enamel. And the center is made up of clear rhinestones, and they are all there. This looks to be a copper tone ring, unless it just turned coppery but it's pretty uniform I do see some discoloration right there there's some silver you see there but it is copper throughout and inside and it's a ring by Aldo you see that huh okay let me uh give you a size for this one this one is about a five and three quarters. So we have this ring. I mean, all the stones are intact, but is this supposed to be copper tone? I think so. And then back here, this is a fa uh, faceted acrylic stone. Well, acrylic. And this is about a five and a quarter. These rings are small. Uh, it's like a looking down a volcano. <laughs> it's gold toned. It's um, beveled slight, ever so slightly. And there's the back side. And we have that. Okay. Let's come down here. This is a stretch ring in gunmetal tone. The stretch is okay. And it is a peacock. So let's look at this peacock. Oh, peacock is missing rhinestones. Yep, I see it right away. Um, feathers all around here look to be intact. But the top feather 
has some missing stones right there where it's um, very dark. You can't even see them, but right where my pinky is, there's some missing rhinestones right there. Um, his neck may be missing a couple too, but his body uh, has them. His beak is open. How cute is that? He has a black uh, rhinestone eye, and the crest has rhinestones. And then he has these um, faux pearls. So we have, uh, we have this one, but it's missing rhinestones. Next up. This is a tiered. silver tone the petals look like they're heart shaped you know um it's more like a i don't know what you call this color mauve like a deep mauve has a rhinestone center and i do see some copper coming through the edges of the uh, petals there's the back side yeah there's some copper where mm -hmm. this is adjustable and as it um sits right at the moment this is at an eight so we have this ring i like it it's pretty this one this one is silver tone very uh textured and this feels acrylic to me it's kind of like an olive green shade and there's the back side there's the inside it may have said something but it may have faded off it looks like an m kind of looks like an m right uh all right what size are you you're about an eight and three quarters. So we have this. Down the line, this one is also adjustable. Here's the back side, and let's take a look at the front. It's a kind of like a domed square filled with amber-colored rhinestones, and yellow ones. And they're all there. It's on this brass tone setting. And the size of this ring is about eight and a quarter. I think it's cute okay oh here's a mini here's a mini uh, ring similar to the big one but this one is silver tone really new and it is also adjustable and as it sits it's about a uh, eight and a quarter but this one's a uh, very sweet it, it has a like amber tone petals it's a smaller version and it does have that clear rhinestone center yeah this is so adorable so we have that and then oh oh here he is making appearance mr owl he does have some wear on the top uh, rim of the band Brass tone. Let's take a look at him. Well, okay, let me measure him. He's about six and a quarter. And there he is. He has black rhinestone eyes. And a, like a ivory or buttery enamel body with that crisscross uh, pattern on the body and the leaves. And he's perched on a branch. And he looks uh, pensive. So we have him. What's 
up next oh this is a fun one this is also adjustable there there's the back side silver tone no markings this one as is is about a six and a half yeah and it's a it is if you look at it this way orange and yellow enamel with clear rhinestones in the middle retro very fun and then next up is this is like a brass tone ring there's the inside it's kind of a squared off on the back so the sizing yeah there is room the way it's set it's squared off on the on the back side but the way it sits it looks like a five and three quarter now i'm close to a seven and it fits so i don't know it measured five and three quarters i would give it a size up like six and three quarters maybe and there's a very uh, ornate design on the sides and then there's this uh acrylic swirly peachy flat color in the middle and there's the tiny tiny bead design going around the frame so we have uh, we have this one okay moving on moving on okay this one here this feels like glass um like an amber colored glass and it's on this gold tone um Mm, textured band there's the inside looks pretty uh looks pretty small it's about a five and a half it's pretty nice though you see how it's flat on top but it's um it is faceted all around so we have that Yeah, that's sweet. And then next up is this one. This is adjustable silver tone. It has some wear on the back. And the front looks like this. There, it is a black enamel. The center is a strip of um, clear rhinestones with some with some openings. You could see through it. And. Uh, Either side has the like dimpled silver tone design. So this one here, as is, measures about a um, seven. So we have this one. This is different. Okay, what's up? Oh, okay. Now we have these bands. So going over them. Wow, this looks like an engagement ring. <laughs> It's a silver tone. Let's measure the size on this one. I would say it is a five and three quarters. There's rhinestones on either side with the center large one. And there is the setting. It's a little high. So we have that. Cute, cute, cute. This one here. This feels like acrylic. This is a gold tone ring. And the size on this one is about five and a quarter. And it has this faceted black stone on it. This one is a multi band. Wow, three, five, maybe nine bands held together with a gold bar. This ring is fun. Um, this one measures maybe, uh, I would say, a six. Gold tone. It looks to be in nice condition. And there you have it. Next one. Okay, this is, um, you see that? Gold stone. It is on a rope band.
And there's the back side. Let's measure this one. This one's about a, hmm, almost a five. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, and lastly, silver tone adjustable ring with two faux pearls. One like a silvery gray and one in this ivory tone. So this one, as is, even though it's adjustable right now, it is at a um, five, maybe. Now, see, I'm like a seven, and that's what it would look like. All right, that was fun. We have these rings, and uh, <laughs> we got a lot more. Okay. Okay, let's look at some bracelets. This one here is by uh, Liz Claiborne. And if you watch my previous videos of this unboxing, I did have a set of matching earrings that uh, goes with it. And here they are. They're post earrings. And this is such a sweet, um, it's got a lot of weight, I have to say. Uh, there's the back side. Yeah, it needs a good cleaning. And there's the signature LC on the back. There's a fold over clasp. It is silver tone and it is magnetic. So this here measures approximately seven inches or seven and a quarter to be exact. <clears throat> so we have, we have this one. I like it. Next up is this two tone braided bracelet that has a fold over clasp there is some wear if you look at this the stations the yellow wash is coming off on on the sides um outside of the raised bead design yeah as well as on the clasp there's no maker's mark on this Yeah, there is somewhere right, you know. You see there's that little gold. Like little gold spots. So, um, all right. Let me fold that over. And measure the length. And uh, let me test to see if it's magnetic too. This one here measures, oh, I would say about seven and a quarter inches also. And um, let me grab my magnet. Okay, we'll, we'll place that in the test pile and we'll, uh, we'll find out whether or not it's precious metal. It's pretty thick too. Uh, it has some weight to it. So next up, this is a copper tone. They look like butterflies. Um, bracelet, open work. There is the back side. It is marked. Oh, it says Sim Metal Sterling and something else. Okay, the back side is silver tone and the front side it looks to have like a copper coppery or yeah like a coppery wash to it hmm. let me uh measure this for you as well this also has a fold over clasp and it looks pretty uh short This measures only six and a half inches, slightly past the half mark. So yeah, take a look at the screen for a second while I look at that um, mark one more time. 
it says hmm SYM metal sterling and something else um Sterling plus 14 carat. Okay, oh, it's very hard for you to see this. Okay. SYM metal, sterling, and 14 carat. So, yes, this is something that definitely will be tested. So, we will place that aside. Uh, the next one is a silver tone hoops with uh, rhinestone encrusted. Well, no. There's one rhinestone in each of the connectors. Yeah. This has a fold-over clasp as well. The back side looks like this. It's very lightweight. Oh, oh. There's a jewelry uh, mark. And that says Avon right there. So this is an old Avon piece. Let's fold that over and measure the length of this one. Um, this is about seven and a quarter inches. Seven and a quarter is making, um, is like the popular length for all these bracelets I've been measuring. So we have this. Yeah, there's some, um, some scratches but overall it's it's Avon so next up is this very sweet glass oh these are nice there's a word for these type of glass oh my goodness someone had told me you see how they're um, rounded off and they're framed and then there's a these look like turquoise um, chips, doesn't it? This one is nice. Uh, there is a silver lobster claw. This is very pretty. Let me let me get the magnet back out because this looks to be. Nope. This looks to be magnetic. <laughs> okay. So, wishful thinking. Let's measure this one. And this is, you guessed it, seven and a quarter inches. Winner, winner. And then, lastly, in this group of fold over clasp type of bracelets, is this a uh, herd of elephants? in this yellow gold tone, but they have like a, um, like a rainbow effect going on, on their bodies. They have little eyes too. Not sweet. Here, I'll show it to you that way. Let's look at the back side. No maker's mark on this either. And, uh, no, nothing. Okay. Let's measure. Let's measure the length of this one. And see what it is. This one is seven and a quarter inches long. So we have the elephant bracelet. Okay, we'll push those aside. Next up, okay, this is a stretch. And you know, it's really much too large to be a bracelet, but it, this is most likely an anklet. But look how pretty. Well, first of all, the stretch is great. There's a really stronger elastic uh, interior, but I love what's hanging off of it. Um, you have these clear acrylic beads in different uh, shapes. And then you have charms. You have enamel 
starfish, this enamel dolphin, a seashell, like a scallop shell, and then you go back to a uh, starfish, dolphin, or maybe those are the same ones. <laughs> maybe, no. Um, really sweet. I think this is so nice to wear, um, I guess, uh, on the beach. So we have this one. And then I found some copper tone open cuffs, open bangles, I guess. This is really nice. There is a design, like a, a, a band on top of it in brass on top of the copper. And of course it's adjustable, but that fit me really well. <laughs> so this one measures, I would say about, okay, this is a, I know, I know I should get that cone. I haven't ordered it yet. Um, six and a half inches. Really nice. I do like this one. And the next one is this copper tone one with the black design backing. This one is pretty rough. Um, it needs a really good polish. Look at the inside. You see how darkened it got? Let me measure this one. And this one comes out to, I would say, seven, seven inches. So we have that. And then lastly is this one. This one's really very nice. Uh, there is some wear on the end right there. Maybe that's something you could just wipe off. But look how pretty this one is. Um, you have that design in the center and you know you can see through it, it's a open work then you have these two bands one is like a red and one is copper really nice I like this one too so the measurement the circumference on this one is a little larger I would say it's it's close to um, eight inches so we have that super nice. This one here, this is a beautiful charm bracelet. And um, the way it opens is from here. You see that mechanism where you have to open it up oh, that way? And that way you can take out charms or add charms to it. Oh, I don't want them to fall out. Let me put this back. You open that back up. It's kind of like those um, Pandora bracelets. And then you snap it back together. But I wanted to show you um, the charms that are on this, this bracelet. There's many glass charms on here majority of them are glass and then you only have maybe two silver tone no three silver tone rondelles but look at the glass you have the frosted one this nice rose one this metallic green this amber this art glass this cobalt blue one with rhinestones this white one another green one another green one it's really pretty purple faceted one um the silver one, back to blues and blues. Really a very nice um, charm bracelet, and it's complete. Uh, the actual charm, uh, the bracelet is a snake chain. So, huh, how should I measure this? I guess I have to do it this way again. Oh. This is tough. What am I doing? I would say 
about six inches, really? So we have that. Really heavy due to um, all the glass and those charms. Next is this bangle, it's brass toned and it has this very nice design. And if you, it's like a raised, raised design. Hmm. What is that? It looks to be in really nice condition though. I don't see um, much wear on this. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing eight inches maybe circumference. Yeah, this has an eight inch circumference. Really pretty, like an aqua blue color with that pop of um, gold coming through. Okay. Oh, wow. Open cuff, open work. No maker. Some scratches. But look at it. Look at all these colors. Let's see what's missing. What's missing? Oh, uh, oh. Is that missing? Oh my goodness. There is nothing. There's nothing missing. I'm shocked. Are you shocked? And that's what it looks like. It's a bendable. It looks like a tiara when you look at it this way. <laughs> All right, this one has a measurement of a circumference measurement of Oh, seven and a quarter inches. So we have this really colorful, regal open cuff, jeweled open cuff. Okay, next one. This is a snap bracelet in this faux animal print. There's this gold bead, not really gold. It's like a copper tone beading on the um, outside of it. This is faux leather on the back. It's a wrap bracelet. So you just wrap it a couple times around your wrist. I think it's in pretty nice condition. Um, I personally never wear them, but I think it's really cool. So, okay, let me... Uh, Twist it around and snap it together. Oh, I should measure it, right? Oh, duh. Duh. Okay, this one has a length of... Oh, I have to open my measure ring tape because I thought I was measuring bracelets. Uh, 12 inches and 13 inches. So you, there's two snaps, so you could you know, wrap it around. Make it loose, make it snug. Um, so we have that. Okay, what's next? How about this one? I like this one. It's magnetic, but you have these really industrial, like a matte gray, snaky strands with this um, curve cylinder bar in the center well they actually move around it's all twisty i like this that's wasn't that a snap to put on so we have this one really cool in nice condition except for the the magnet could be scrubbed a bit and uh, it's in a gunmetal tone that uh connector this one here, oh, this is a vintage, oh, there was a price tag on it. Uh, this is a vintage stretch bracelet that has these um, little enamel, uh, like little enamel, you see that? They're glued on um, in green, brown, and purple. Really sweet. 
then, wow, this is a heavy, heavy bangle that needs a really good wash. I mean, look at that verdigris. This is a bronze tone. Or, yeah, I would say. Mm -hmm. And this can be easily cleaned up because it's completely intact. Every rhinestone is here. It's heavy. This one here, I'm guessing eight maybe, eight inches in circumference. No, this one is seven and a half. And it's two and a half inch opening. So we have that. It reminded me of like a J. Crew bracelet that I saw because they do like to use these large faceted um, crystals. All right. Um, this will be in craft. It is a silver tone bangle, and this has a circumference of seven inches. And uh, it's got this um, motif on it with purple and pinks. Maybe butterfly wings or feathers. I don't know. But it's in good condition. Okay. And then, you know, this bunch I found. And they all seem to have some wear. Uh, this is a clamper. See all that copper? So this will be in craft. Has a the silver glitter on it. This one here also has lots of copper. It's a stretch bracelet with, um, with silver beads and then you have these clear beads that are covered in that silver frame. This is another bang um, clamper bracelet and there is copper coming through here as well. It's oval and um, it has uh, these studs with the silver glittery design. This one is, I guess it's kind of like a bypass clamper. And uh, yeah, it has some wear. This will be in craft as well. It has a nice rose gold um, glittery side. And then the other side has this olive green enamel. So we have that. Uh, this will be in craft. This is another craft item. It's, you see the shape of it? It's copper tone. It has wear. And this is also a clamper. And it's got rhinestones. And they're all there. So, you know, I mean, this... I'm going to try this on. I think this looks pretty cool. I like the swirly, you know, irregularity of this clamper. Um, it's like twisted. <laughs> but it, yeah, this will be in craft and all you have to do is scrub it up and clean it up and you can wear it. And here is, this is a blue leather cord with a magnet. Yeah, that's, and uh, there's a cross on it, but a couple of rhinestones are missing from it. Um, one here and one up there. But really nice. I like the blue. So that's it for the for this group of bracelets. We'll uh, we'll test um, we'll test these two later on in the video. All right, let's do some testing. Um, here is that bracelet. So let's see. If it's a precious metal of some sort. So I tested that clasp. And um, yeah, I'll take a scratch of the actual bracelet. And you see that copper? Not a good sign. And in this part will be tested as well. This piece. And then on this side, 
All right, this is the one that's marked sterling and 14 karat right there in that cartouche. So let me, um, let's scratch the clasp and also part of the um, bracelet. Okay, so we have those two. Well, a few. And we'll grab the 18 karat acid. Place it. Well, we know the center one is definitely not. Um, but let's see what happens with the, the bracelet. Okay. This here is not sterling. But this here is see the bright blue so now it did say 14 karat i am going to test the um the top portion of it to see whether or not it is be right back okay i grabbed my other stone the one i used to test for gold and i'm going to scratch some of that top portion of the bracelet and using 14 karat acid solution, let's see whether or not that scratch remains. If it disappears, it's definitely not 14 karat gold. So yeah, looking at this, I mean, it's really, Quite a pretty bracelet. It's silver tone on the inside, and then you have a gold tone on the outside. And looking at that cartouche, it does say it mm, sim metal, S Y M M E T A L, and then sterling plus fourteen K. All right. So let's take a look. Do you see that? It's holding steady. So I would say this is in fact 14 karat. This is interesting on one side and sterling on the other. Okay, very nice find. Okay, let's weigh the bracelet. Uh, the scale is set to grams and it comes out to 11.31 grams. Hey everyone, that's a wrap on this 16 pound shop Goodwill jewelry lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you like to purchase anything, just email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. The instructions are also uh, in the beginning of the video after my introduction as well as below in the description box. I also pin a comment under every video uh, showing sold items, so you may want to check that out too. And um, I know this video is mainly rings and bracelets, but the remainder of this box, which will be the last part, part four, will include more necklaces, uh, craft items, and um, maybe a couple vintage things. So I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget, ring that bell, choose all notifications so you will be alerted. And uh, thanks for spending this time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.